Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I'm whispering because it is quarter past five in the morning and no one else is awake yet. It literally feels like the middle of the night and I can't get over like how quickly, like I feel like it was only a couple of weeks ago you could wake up at five and the sunrise would be like rising <laughs> and now it's so, yeah, it wasn't too hard to get up though. I haven't gotten up at 5 in a while. Me and Jackson have been waking up at 5.30, that's when his alarm is. But I thought, you know, I just need that little bit of extra time to start feeling a bit more ahead. As you guys might know, I was like, the last two vlogs, I've just been a bit like, a bit all over the place, only really vlogging like, here and there sporadically, just because I feel like I've been constantly chasing my tail and like I I just haven't really got the whole working for myself and having multiple clients down pat yet um which is fine like it's not terrible it's definitely already improved a little bit but it's really my morning routine that I want to absolutely nail and have it really set in stone that this is what I do every single day because if I have these few things ticked off straight like first thing in the morning even before I go on my morning walk before I have breakfast and a coffee if yeah there's a few things that I would like to have done that will make me feel like I'm ahead for the day and that like I'm not I'm being proactive instead of reactive I actually got that quote on my little flip book the other day and oh, it's so so true anyway Oh, we can actually flip it for today's quote. Today's quote is, I have the courage to be exactly who you are without apology. Admit your mistakes without beating yourself up. Realise all shame. No, this says release. Release all shame. Release all guilt. You cannot live if you're hiding behind what was. Focus on what is right now, and that is you. I love that so much. Today is a fresh start, it's a fresh day. I got straight up because I know I've got my to-do list outlined to a T of what I need to do. So I want to do a few things before I leave at six to go meet up with a new friend, go for a walk and coffee, which will be lovely, and then straight back into work for the rest of the day. And there's also some fun things mixed in there because as you would see, in the title or whatever it's jackson's birthday tomorrow so i'm going to be doing some last minute organizing for that and we're having his birthday dinner tonight so it'll be an exciting fun vlog um but yeah i've just got some really monday and like admin stuff to do doing some emails i'm gonna post a reel on my feed and Hey guys, I literally feel like I'm living the most like dream influencer typical life today because what did I do? Went for a walk in coffee with Lana, which is really nice and got some photos and stuff there. Came home, had a smoothie for brekkie, edited my white box haul that's uploading at the moment and then what else did I do? I did my emails like this morning when I first woke up. Oh, filmed my Naked Harvest stories because they're launching a new product tomorrow, but I'm trying to give myself the whole day off tomorrow so I can be present with Jackson and his mum for his birthday. So I just pre-filmed those. I usually don't. I usually like to be real authentic in the moment, like film them and post them straight away. But yeah, I just filmed them today so I can post them when the product goes live tomorrow because obviously it has to, you know, can't post it before the product's available. So yeah, just need to like draft those and schedule them so all I have to do is post 
tomorrow on his birthday and now I've just had a shower, gotten ready and wearing the cutest jumpsuit from or play suit from Sabo Skirt. I love it. And I am about to go to Edwards & Co. in Goldie to get my head like blow dried and styled from one of the apprentices which is so fun they she just reached out to me on her hair page and she just said she needed a model for like a blow dry and style and i was like absolutely and she asked for tuesday and i was like well i'm actually going out for dinner tonight so that will work perfectly so i'm gonna do that but on the way i have a few errands and you go to the post office and you go to office works to buy some film because i bought jackson a film camera that i'm going to give him tonight and also like a little itinerary for tomorrow that I want to get printed at office work. So yeah, just a few things on the way and then hair appointment at 12. So yeah. Wow, my hair has already gone down so much. Maybe it's because I told her that my hair holds curls really well. Because I thought it did, but yeah, it's gone so flat. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It still looks better than how I would have done it. I just had to do a mad dash back home, stopped at the post office on the way. I've quickly wrapped Jackson's presents. And now I just need to do my makeup, put my outfit on for dinner, pack a little overnight bag, because I don't remember if I said, but... Yeah, Jackson's mum is from New South Wales, so she's up visiting and she's staying in a hotel in Surfers. So we're going to go there to have drinks with her first before dinner and then actually stay there the night because she's got a second bed, which is amazing. Like she booked a two bedroom hotel so we can stay if we want. So that's fun. And then we'll do his whole birthday day together tomorrow. Also, I printed out the itinerary for tomorrow. That oh, just works. So cute. So I'm going to give him that with the film camera now like before dinner when we go over there um and then give him this present which is a cap that he wanted for tomorrow and then do you know the whole day and everything <laughs> <laughs> you're looking into the oh, sun there mate <laughs> <laughs> We just got to Jackson's mum mum wow English. 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 We just got to Jackson's mum's hotel in Surfers. We decided to push dinner back from five till six because we just needed a bit more time. We wanted to chill out here, have some beverages, some storing. We're gonna have a little champagne. He's gonna get part one of his presents. Woo! Beautiful. <laughs> Pillows are sensational. Oh, can't That's wait. Yeah. Oh, you've sat on the wrong one, mate. Duh. <laughs> Do you like your presents? I love them. Yeah? Love them. Show us your hat. <laughs> Beautiful. Looks great. Shout out to Bullcloose. Beautiful friends, today is Thursday now and 
yeah it's the first time i'm probably chatting to you i hope you just enjoyed that little montage of jackson's birthday yesterday it was honestly the best day and i'm so glad he had a really good time he said he was very grateful and really enjoyed it i'm just gonna sit on the lounge for a second it was honestly so fun so we went to byron for the day on the way back from byron i picked up the birthday cake we then dropped that at home so it could stay in the fridge went to soak bathhouse in mermaid and did a soak and sip session which was like an hour and a half of full access to all the magnesium pools the spa the cold plunge pool steam room the sauna it was just so right up his alley he loves doing like the cold and hot therapy and stuff and you get two drinks as well with that which i thought was like a nice way to end the day and then that led into dinner so we just went and grabbed the cake got changed well i got changed and then it went to Justin Lane to have pizza and cocktails for dinner and they um, gave out the birthday cake as well which was awesome. I don't know if I vlogged any of that, I wish I did but yeah I didn't really vlog, I just took some montage clips because I really like to be you know, in the moment, be present, like it's not my birthday. Oh someone's whippersnippering or blow, blow, blow a vacuum. Yeah so he made like a cute little reel. <laughs> Um, because you know he's all about that life now apparently which is so fun um, but yeah the room our like office lounge room kind of is a bit of a schmozzle at the moment because I just brought everything in this morning that was in the car because we got home at like 9 30 after dinner and dropping his mum back at her hotel because she was obviously visiting um, so yeah I just need to like do all our washing, unpack everything, tidy up again. I'm going to, yeah, just have a bit of a get shit done day. I just went and went for a little beach walk with my friend Tori, got a coffee. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a late start. It's like 9.30 a.m. So I'm going to go get my nails fixed. And I also had to take everything out of the car because I'm going to get the car washed while I get my nails done. I feel like I learned that um, like life hack off Ali. And I just feel like it's such a, like, productive, like, I've got my shit together thing to do if you, like, get your car washed while you get your nails done. I know it's, like, kind of, a, I guess, like, a more luxurious kind of thing. Like, I am so lazy and hate washing my car, so I always pay to get it washed at the shops. Um, so, yeah, obviously not everyone does that or that's not reasonable for everyone. Mom, it's just something I do. Um, and, yeah, I want to get some content tomorrow and I broke one of my nails so i'm gonna do that yeah do heaps of washing do my emails do some of the cali swim emails do some stories for the barber brewster shop that i work with as well um yeah i've got a bit of a list just all that kind of random stuff i need to wash my hair scrub my tan all that stuff and then when jackson comes home from work we're gonna have a little chill afternoon we'll just watch some maths together catch up on tv and just chill out because it's it was tiring even though it was a really nice day it was just tiring um and yeah we're tired so that'll be good it's yeah it's been really really good it was honestly the best and yeah i think that's all i have to say i can't remember my office chair is coming tomorrow which i'm so excited about um i think that's everything Guys, look how much better our office room looks. I've just got Jackson's, Jackson's <laughs> prezies there because I don't know what he'll want to do with them. And this is also something that arrived today from Sweats, which is Jake's brand. I don't know if you guys would... Oh, I just thought one of my nails was crooked. Anyway, um, yeah, I work for Ali. Her partner, Jake, owns a men's clothing range. So I bought him a shirt from his brand for his birthday as well so that's him t for him to open just got to sort out all this this is more washing i've got a big load on right now jackson still needs to put that level in his car um <laughs> some chippies that i had left over in my beach bag yesterday got some towels hanging out outside Ta -da. and i'm gonna go heat up one of my nourished meals maybe even two of them because i have not eaten today and i need to morning everyone i just got the most exciting delivery it's actually almost lunchtime. it's quarter past 11 
this morning i just woke up had a bit of a slow wake up this morning washed and blow dried my hair because i was too lazy to wash it last night and i went out this morning to have coffee and a bit of a work date with chloe my friend and we just sat there for like an hour and a half chit chatted a bit at the start caught up did a bit of work and then i got the call to say that my desk chair is on its way and it, i just got it delivered just then so i met them here i'm so excited it's just in the hallway because there's a lot of shit going on in here i need to put put away the washing and fold this down so i've got room to assemble it in here i'm really hoping it's easy to put together and then this room is pretty much like complete i guess besides like a little cushion and a throw that we want to get and a bit more tidying and like storage solutions and stuff but i'm so excited so i'll show you when i put it together guys so embarrassing i didn't remove the cap on the gas lift bit before I tried to stick it into the top of the chair. And I thought I'd will and truly But I didn't. I wait for them. I love her. Let me give you a different POV. Here we go. You're now sitting on the lounge. I'll just switch it around. Let's get rid of this bad boy. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. That is perfect. So good. 